Railways, both in this country and overseas, are part of the solution to a lot of society's problems at the moment. There is growing population, many cities are growing, and putting railways in place, investing in them, increasing their capacity, is part of the solution for increasing the mobility. Railways are being developed currently all around the world. I travel a lot, and it doesn't matter where I go, people are building railways. The advent of high-speed rail um, is coming. In this country, obviously, we've got HS2, but we're also talking about HS3 and onwards. If you look globally to Japan, um, they're running up to the maglev trains, up to you know, 500, 600 kilometers an hour across China, building tens of thousands of kilometers of rail um, in the next five years. The University of Birmingham has got the largest railway research and education centre of any university in Europe and we've got an enormous number of people working on researching the major challenges facing the railway industry as well as educating the future generations of railway engineers and managers. The Birmingham Centre for Rail Research and Education is actually one of the largest in Europe. Um, we've got 130 academic staff PhD students um, that are going to be coming into the industry and helping to address the skills gap that we've got and to work on the big projects that are coming in. We've got people researching, the, looking at the relationship between safety and performance, which are two of the very significant uh, important outputs for railways. Uh, we've got people looking at the economics of platform doors, which are increasingly important on metro systems. We've got people looking at the sustainability of high-speed railways, my research um, is about thinking about how we can get better use of the railway networks as they are at the moment. So getting more value out of them, more capacity use within the systems that we have, and just trying to keep them running and functioning to a better degree. My research is on energy efficiency in railways, and what I'm looking at is solutions that are available, things that we can do now, and deciding which type of railway they should be applied to. The research I lead in the Birmingham Centre for Railway Research and Education focuses on developing new technology that will help improve railways into the future, both in terms of the punctuality of railways, but also just making sure that they're more cost effective and we have future technology embedded in all our systems. So the Digital Railway is um, a programme coming forward up to 2020, 2050, and it's really about two things. It's about the trains, talking to other trains, um, so we can increase capacity. If they know where the train ahead is, then they can um, run close together. And it's also about the trains talking to the customers, so the customer has a positive end-to-end -end experience. The whole point of the digitisation of railways is to make railways cheaper, get more capacity, reduce the amount of carbon we use on railways, and also make them more punctual so that people get there on time all the time. In the UK, um, we're having a large growth area at the moment with things like HS2 bringing in, linking different parts of the country together. It's a more integrated and more closely bonded um, nation. And then trying to think about how we can use the railways to support that link, to grow that link, um, efficiency of systems, and then thinking about how that fits to Europe and, and, and the bigger picture around the world. Mm -hmm.